Hi, it's Mark from ChainSpark. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can use Cadence Theme alongside LearnDash and some of the customization options that you get by using the Cadence Theme. So if you're not familiar already, Cadence Theme is a theme from the same company that run LearnDash. So there's a company called StillerWP and in their portfolio of plugins and themes, they have Cadence and LearnDash and other you know, popular plugins like the Events Calendar and SolidWP, which used to be called iTheme Security. So they've got a number of plugins that can sort of work together. And given that it's a theme, it makes sense for LearnDash to utilize some of the features around that and make it customizable to their own things like courses, lessons, topics, and things like that. And that's what they do. So LearnDash tend to prefer Cadence now. So if you use their, you know, set up wizards and things like that, they will probably put you on Cadence as a, as a sort of default template. But what I'm going to do is show you how you could potentially switch to Cadence if you wanted to, and what the benefits of that are in a LearnDash platform. So this is the sort of sandbox platform that we use a lot on these training videos. We use the Astra theme here, and what I'm going to do is switch that to Cadence and firstly see what happens, you know, just see if it makes a huge amount of difference, and then look at some of the features that relate to LearnDash. So if I head to themes from the dashboard here, we can see we've got Astra already installed. I already have Cadence installed, if you don't have that already, what you do is just go to add new, search for Cadence, and that'll appear here and you'll be able to install and activate it. So what I'm going to do now is just click on activate to activate the Cadence theme. Let's take a look at the site. I mean, it has kept its rough shape, you know, it's still got its header and footer and social icons and things like that, you know. Whenever you change themes, there's going to be tiny quirks like this where the, the logo shrunk, but these are easy to amend via the settings. And that's what we're going to look at now. So if we head to customize here, most modern themes have this customize option, which brings up this preview here where you can sort of see what options you can change here in the left hand bar and almost preview them in real time here. So as a quick example, I mentioned previously the, the logo there has, sh has shrunk. So what I'm going to do is open the header, click on logo here, and we can see that that's got a max width of 40 pixels. I'm just going to increase that and uh, then just click on publish. But you can see that there's a lot of features here that we can, we can change. And these are sort of the generic site-wide settings here mainly. And, you know, as well as that, you have additional settings around things like padding and you know, uh, fav icons that appear in the top here, you know, alongside your site title in the, in the tabs at the top of your browser. But what I wanted to do mainly in, in this video is show you that within the customization options of the Cadence theme, there is a LearnDash specific section here where we're able to edit certain things like the course layouts, essay layouts, groups layouts, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in other themes. So let's head to courses as an example, and we'll open up just a random course here. And we can see that this is sort of the default setting for a course, but let's just have a look at what we can do in terms of the design here. So one of the things I can see here at the top here, we can toggle the title. So if we didn't want the title to appear for any reason, we can switch it off. And there are also a number of features here around the title container. If we want to have it above the content, if we want it full width, or if we want to standardize one, we can change the alignment of the heading here, as well as changing the height of that header. So what I might do is just move it left aligned and I'll 
you know, make that a bit shorter. There are a few other things that looks like you can show and hide here. So you can show things like breadcrumbs, titles, and things like the course layout here. Um, we can set whether we want that in a in a window here, so it's you know a fixed width, or we want it a bit wider, or I think this would take it to completely full width if we wanted it to as well. So there's a few different customization options as well. And I think there's options to include sidebars if you did want to on these pages, all via the, the settings here. So I'll just set it to this one. And if you did have a sidebar, you can choose what those sidebars contain. There's a few different things here around the, the actual content, whether it's contained within a, a box or not. You know, we can switch those. And there's different things around padding and whether or not you show featured images. So we've made a few subtle changes there. Uh, there's also this design setting here where we can change things like the colors of certain fonts and uh, you know, easily change the, the background image there if you wanted to change the, the position of it. So you know, if we found that the image there, we wanted a certain thing in there, like perhaps faces, we could move this around to change the focal point of that image. If we wanted to, we can also add colors and gradients and things like that, you know, if we didn't want an image. And so we can change that bit. And there's a few other, other settings here around, you know, just general site backgrounds on, on course layouts. So if I click publish now, actually one of the things I might change here while I'm on is the breadcrumb color. So it looks like I can change that here. It was quite dark there. So I've just changed that to white. And uh, I believe this is a, a hover color. So if I wanted a slightly different hover color for those, I can use that here. So I'm just going to click on publish and then just close this off for now. What we'll see if we go into a course now is that that whole layout has now changed. So the you know, we've got a box layout here, the title has left aligned, we've got a breadcrumb, and uh, you know, certain things there have now been changed courtesy of the theme that we're now using and able to customize through. So just going back to it, let's just have a look at some of the other smaller things here. So we just changed the general course layout there, but there's also the archive layout, which is your sort of list of courses if you wanted to change that. And uh, we can also change things like the layouts of essays, quizzes even. You know, so if we do have a quiz on there, we can change where the, the titles and things are. Some of these are you know, the, the same settings, just customized for different places, uh, as well as topics and lessons. So if you know, if we're going to a specific lesson here, um, I can edit the content of that. So if I go to the lesson layout, I could add a title in here if I wanted to and you know, change lessons to be full width if I wanted to and change the, you know, the layouts of titles. So all of this is very customizable in a very sort of uh, granular way. You know, we can go into lots of different areas, even the newer challenge exams that were added, you know, maybe a year or so ago. These are all customizable here by the settings. So, you know, you may already have a theme that you're happy with. You know, lots of people use Buddy Boss, Astra, lots of different ones with Learn Dash. But if you are looking for a change in theme or just getting started with Learn Dash, Cadence does work well with Learn Dash, naturally being part of the same brand. So, uh, definitely worth looking at and you know, there are lots and lots of customization options here and this is just the free version of cadence they do have pro versions that do uh, allow even more so hope you find this useful if you did please give the video a like and if you'd like to see more like this please subscribe to the train spark youtube channel